Hi, I'm Taylor and welcome to Sex and You. Today we're going to be talking about consent and sexual assault. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about sex. So what is consent? Consent is a mutual agreement between two people before they engage in any sexual activity. It involves ver verbal cues by giving permission when a person is in their own right of mind and is of their own free will. So along these lines, sexual assault is any sexual act that is not of mutual consent. So this could be anything from fondling to kissing to anal or oral sex or sexual intercourse. It doesn't matter what it is, it just matters that it's not consensual. So with consent, there is no such thing as assumed consent. This means that whether you're in a relationship or you've done the act before or you haven't said no, it doesn't mean you said yes. And saying yes to one thing doesn't mean you say yes to anything else. And also remember that people can take consent away at any time, so people can change their mind. Just because you say yes at one point doesn't mean you should be afraid to say no after that if you start to feel uncomfortable. Let's talk about the myths surrounding consent and sexual assault. It is not the way people act or dress that gets them assaulted. It is the person assaulting them that is in the wrong, always. The way a person acts or dress has nothing to do with their character or how they want to be treated. It is solely the responsibility of the person that assaulted them. Just because a person didn't fight back doesn't mean they weren't sexually assaulted. Sometimes they're overly intoxicated or under the influence of drugs and aren't able to fight back. Or maybe that they were just too scared to think about fighting back. They thought they were going to be hurt more if they tried. A person can say no at any time, no matter who they're with or how long they have been with them. Many people are sexually assaulted in a relationship, and it is in no way an excuse to sexually assault a person. In fact, most people know their abuser. It is very rare for someone to be assaulted by a stranger on passing on the street. Most of the time, they will know the person and will know them fairly well. Sometimes a person has, is overly intoxicated or is under the influence of drugs and won't be able to remember exactly what happened or remember it very clearly. Or maybe there's some conscious suppress the memory so that way they wouldn't have to relive it over and over again. Either way, it doesn't mean that these events did not happen and someone should definitely go get checked out and go talk to friends and whoever was with them that night to try and piece together what happened. So a lot of people get really awkward and say, well, I'm not going to just say, can I kiss you or can I do this to you? Because it can be a little awkward and that's totally understandable. But consent doesn't have to be awkward. There are many different ways to go about it that can make it fun and sexy. So ask your partner questions. Be like, have you ever tried blank? Would you like to try it with me? Or maybe, well, I like when you do this to me. What would you like me to do to you? Or... Does this feel good? Or would you like me to blank? There are many different ways to empower your partner so that way they feel like they're in control of their own sexual experience. And that is the most important part. If they are in control, they feel safe. And safety is what matters. If you want any more information, I'll post some links down below. Have a good day.